What's up guys, it is Chris back with another unboxing and today we are doing an unboxing of a pretty special watch. This is the 1926 automatic from About Vintage. Now you might remember I did an unboxing for an About Vintage watch uh, last year actually and uh, they have sent me over this watch which like I mentioned is the 1926 automatic I really like their 1926 line in general that is their diver watch or diver inspired line of watches uh, they are affordable and really good-looking watches definitely you could see that they are inspired by um, Blanc Pan, the Blanc Pan 50 Fathoms for sure. Um, and they are just really good looking watches. So they all come in these beautifully smoked wood boxes, very, very solid natural wood boxes. These aren't a veneer or anything like that. And then they're engraved on the outside, as you can see about vintage with their logo, just a beautiful box. Uh, this was an early bird special. They were offering a discount, I think 20% off of the retail uh, for this watch. And it comes as uh, the other about vintage that I unboxed on the channel and did a review on. It comes with all this little information. Uh, 1926 is essentially the year that the diver's watch was invented. They use different dates in horological history to name their watches, which obviously is really cool and you could tell that they very much love watches <laughs> otherwise you really wouldn't go the extra mile uh, it comes in a really nice cardboard box on the outer box as well and then of course here is the watch so i was saying this is a early bird special the early bird special was 20 percent off so you got 20 percent off the watch and then you also got a strap set so that's what these other two little boxes here are so here is the watch you can see it is definitely inspired by vintage dive watches one of those being the blanc pond 50 fathoms you can see a lot of that in the bezel the dial is pretty original it is a sandwich dial you have some old radium on there looks really good i'll do some close-ups on the dial it says about vintage 1926 at sea automatic and then you have an applied logo at six o'clock and that is their about vintage logo the case is really nice on this watch it's 39 millimeters across 47 millimeters lug to lug 14 millimeters thick just under 14 millimeters and then around 13 millimeters thick if you don't include that heavily domed and boxed sapphire crystal with ar coating screwed in crown screwed in case back crown is of course signed and as i mentioned uh, you do get three straps with this. There is a rubber strap, a NATO strap, and then a mesh bracelet that comes with it. The bracelet and the rubber strap have quick release. Uh, and of course the NATO is not. However, that comes with extra spring bars. So you don't need to go find spring bars if you want to use your NATO strap. It comes with it. Um, this is a special package for the launch of this watch. And I believe there are some left. They have a secret link somewhere on their website where they are still selling these. Uh, however, these are a limited edition and the first run have sold out. Uh, however, like I mentioned, they have a few left and they are selling those through a secret link on their website. And if you go to their website or follow them on social media, they will actually tell you where it is uh, if on social media that is. So definitely follow About Vintage on Instagram and they're posting where that link is so you can go and check it out. I'll do a really quick strap change. I want to, I want you guys to see what this looks like on the mesh strap, which I think is a really nice strap. But first, we'll use the uh, rubber strap. The rubber strap on this is very, very soft and, uh, and very nice. And uh, really quickly, um, I am wearing the City Limits by Dufresne. This is just a really cool watch with a black to gray fume on that dial. Uh, PVD coated, obviously, just a beautiful watch in general. So here is the about vintage on my wrist. So this watch is getting a Miyota movement. That is the Miyota 8215. So it does not hack. However, it is a workhorse movement, but one of the things that about vintage are doing is they are offering 
five years warranty on this watch, which is an incredible amount of warranty. Uh, for most micro brands and most major brands in general, do not offer that much warranty on a watch, especially a watch that costs under $1,000. I think that's actually very impressive. So you can see on my seven and a half inch wrist, this watch wears perfectly. Uh, 39 millimeters in my wheelhouse, I would say. Uh, looks good on my wrist. And I, and I have a seven and a half inch wrist. It might be a, a tad smaller than that, uh, but that's what it is uh, around there. And I think it looks really, really good. This is the black version. They made a PVD gold version. It's a rose gold version. And they also made a blue version. So the gold version gets a blue dial, I believe. And the blue version gets a blue dial with a blue bezel. And there it is on the mesh strap. So this is a really nice, thick, heavy mesh strap. Uh, just a beautiful strap and it looks really good with this watch, obviously. Again, keeping in with that vintage style. However, if you wanted a different strap, maybe a five link or, or like an oyster bracelet, they offer that as well um, for an upcharge. However, I, I really like this uh, mesh bracelet. I, I definitely would go with this over uh, the, uh, the oyster bracelet, however, it's, uh, it's entirely uh, you know up to you and your, and your tastes. So really quickly, we will do a quick loom shot. As you know, I like to do a twilight sort of situation for the unboxing. For the full review, I will do a full loom shot, uh, both twilight and then full darkness. But you can see there's plenty of loom on this dial. Uh, this is a sandwich dial. Usually sandwich dials have pretty good loom on them and this is pretty decent loom as you can see uh, very bright no loom on the bezel uh, just on the dial and hands uh, really really nice application I, I really very much like this watch so just a really handsome watch vintage inspired 100 meters water resistance all stainless steel comes with three straps and this special edition packaging uh, and I believe, like I said, they have these still available on their website. They will be re-releasing these in a second batch. That will be in August, uh, early August, I believe. However, in general, uh, About Vintage makes some cool watches. Definitely check out their website. They make a quartz version of this watch. It looks a little bit different. The design is a little bit different. However, very similar to this 1926 automatic. It's named the 1926 as well. There's a all black version. I, I, I originally contacted the brand when I saw that watch. I wanted to review that watch. Um, however, that was not available to review. So eventually I was able to get this watch, which I am super excited about. Uh, anyway, I'll be wearing it over the next few weeks, like I mentioned, and I will report back with a full review. But obviously, I like to give you my first impressions and my first impressions on this watch are extremely positive. It's really well made and it looks really, really good. And obviously that is 75% of the way there, uh, but I'll be wearing it over the next few weeks and I will definitely let you guys know uh, what I think. Anyway, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and much appreciated. Please also don't forget to follow me at Watch Chris Blog on Instagram. Uh, there are some links in the description below. Those links are to watches. If you buy something, even if it is not the watch that I have linked to, uh, it helps go to supporting the channel. It does not cost you anything extra and it doesn't bother your prime benefits. So it is much appreciated. Uh, anyway, thank you for logging on. I will catch you guys in the next video.